This is actually like the probably the worst dreadlock I have that came apart right here. You just kind of go in in a stabbing motion, you know what I'm saying? Like this, you know, you just gotta stab it multiple times. Sorry, it's October, you know, Halloween. Oh God, you, you have to subscribe. It yes. never ends out here, are you kidding me? He, oh, it said so it so they got a what? They endless. Got a what is going on binks family welcome back to another dreadlock tutorial video all right so today we're doing a video that i told you we would do and the time has finally come but anyway peep the drip your boy got his lovely robe on can't even lie the pants <sighs> damn the pants match today i'm gonna show y'all how you lock up the ends of your dreadlocks just in case they're either unraveling, or in my case, your dreads are just like splitting up, say if you didn't combine them fully correctly. With that being said, if you are new here, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, join the Binks family. We're gonna be a lit family soon, it's already coming. And like usual, we're trying to hit 2,000 Binks family members before 2020, or at least on the day of 2020. Your boy's gonna grind, I'm gonna keep on giving y'all content to watch. But now, it's time to get in to the video. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna need for this tutorial is going to be a crochet needle. And the second thing you're gonna need is to have a messed up dreadlock because it's gonna be pointless for you to watch this video if you don't have this problem. So I'm gonna show y'all a couple dreadlocks that I have that are a little bit messed up. Even the best dreadlocks in the game sometimes get a little bit of faults in them, but it's not like we can't fix it. So basically, this dread right here is probably my worst dread that I have. You know, it's kind of like bulged up at the, uh, it got this little budding right here. Plus the ends are kind of split if you guys could see, you know what I'm saying? You see how it's like uh, split up a little bit. And that's because when I first started my dreadlocks, I actually had three times the amount of dreads I had now. And if I never combined my hair, my hair would probably look like little Tekka's. Family, ting a lie. I probably got about four dreads that have noticeable split ends. So I'm gonna start with this dreadlock because this is actually like the, probably the worst dreadlock I have that came apart right here. So with this crochet needle, we're basically just gonna grab the dreadlock that we wanna use. And all we're gonna really do is kinda twist the dreadlock a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like twist the ends like that. Kinda just twist it, you know, just like that. So they doesn't even look like split up. And then from there, we're gonna use this crochet needle on the downwards motion. You see how it has a little hook at the end? It's probably hard to focus, but. So we're gonna go in a back and forth motion like this towards the end of your dreadlocks make sure the crochet uh, hook thing is kind of facing downwards and make sure it kind of grabs hair and basically all the hook is doing is kind of grabbing hair and pulling it into each other you know what i'm saying it's almost like braiding your hair but like in a really tight way just continue to do this for like four minutes until my hair looks like it's all solid you can't tell the difference and in between crocheting you probably want to spin your dreads just a little bit you know like retighten them and then start over with the crochet needle after you do it again you know just keep going in and doing that probably like about three times all right now as you see like my hair is starting to become like one uh lock of hair sort of you know what i mean i still got this little piece of hair uh sticking out so i'm probably gonna push that back into the dreadlock and i've been doing this for about three minutes so far so i'm gonna just do one more minute of trying to combine this and by the end the dread should look solid all righty so your boy is finally done with the dreadlock so i'm gonna show y'all it very quick you know what I'm saying? If you guys are telling me that you guys can't see the difference in between when I first started until now, I don't know what to tell y'all. Oh, snap. I don't know what to tell y'all. But it really didn't take that long to fix that dreadlock. Now it's way more solid. It's not split up. It just looks like one solid dreadlock. You feel me? And like I said, all you really need to do is start off, grab uh, one of the dreadlocks that are all split up, kind of like this one, sort of. You just kind of twist it right at the end, then you pinch the tip, you just kind of go in in a stabbing motion, you know what I'm saying? Like this, you know, you just gotta stab it multiple times. Sorry, it's October, you know, Halloween. All right, Binks family, so that's gonna wrap it up for this tutorial video. Real quick, real simple, you know, the easiest way that you guys can fix your split end dreads or your frizzy dreads or your dreads that are just about to break at the end, 
This is the easiest way to do it. And by the way, if I didn't already say it in this video, I'm gonna have this crochet needle specifically down below in the description. You guys can go buy it. But if this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, if you're a newcomer, make sure you guys like the video. If you've already been an OG Binks family, make sure you guys like the video as well. Hit the subscribe button, bell button for notifications when I post the video. You can follow all of my social media right here. I make sure to give updates every time that I drop a video. I always post it either on my story. I actually post it, post it. You know what I mean? So if you don't have the bell button pressed, you guys could always get notified. But Binks family, that's going to wrap it up for today. So make sure you guys having a good rest of your day, evening or night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll catch you in the next video.